Hey good people, so today's video is a review over the Soft Touch Foot Peel Mask. I purchased this mask off of Amazon sometime in March, but I'm now editing the footage. So you get two treatments in this package, I only did one, it says that you get better results if you do both of the treatments so i might do the second treatment later but for right now this is just the first treatment this is just the first round so as you can see i have calluses um on the sides of my big toe I also have calluses on my heels. I don't think they're as bad as they could be because I tend to hit up my heels or my calluses in general when I'm in the shower with a foot scrub. It's like those um, foot scrubs that have like the handles on it and it kind of looks like a cheese grater. I use that in the shower, like when I'm ready to get out, my feet are soaked, they're, you know, softened up, and it's just easier to hit up those heels. Those little dots that you see on the inner area of my foot is supposedly eczema. So to get started, you wanna go ahead and rinse your feet well. I just use the antibacterial soap and warm water. After this process, you do want to go ahead and dry your feet. So what you want to do is get the slip and cut along the lines across the top. This also comes with tape, so your foot doesn't slide in and out. You want to tape right on the top of your foot, and you also want to tape right at the back of your ankle. And you'll leave this on for one hour. I went ahead and put socks on just because I needed to get ready for the next work day. So I just couldn't sit there for an hour. If you feel any burning or itching, I suggest you discontinue use immediately. Um, I did read some reviews that people did have some issues um, it kind of caused redness itching burning so I suggest if you have any of those problems right off the bat just stop use Now, I want to say this was about two or three days later. I started to notice a little bit of cracking in the middle of my foot, closer to my toes. And this is as I'm getting out the shower. I noticed that I kind of had like a flapping sensation. And that's when I really noticed that the skin was starting to lift. Just had to peel some of those pieces off they were super long and I could feel them as I was dragging or walking um, 
and I was literally leaving a trail of dead skin so that just had to come off now if you are having the same results as I am and you can't really deal with the little flapping dead skin just hanging dangling off your foot take some scissors and gently cut as close as you can to the skin do not rip off any skin you do not want to irritate the process you do not want to irritate your foot it's i believe it could cause scarring if you do so so just be mindful leave the skin be don't agitate it and i believe you're not supposed to moisturize so for the last two weeks basically i have not used any moisturizers on my feet i've heard that when your feet are drier you get better results if they're moisturized then you probably won't see as much skin falling off I had kept track of the days, but I don't know what happened to that information, so shame on me. But what I really started to notice, um, probably a week later, is that my foot, like the skin, the cracking, was really starting to happen on the top portion of my foot, not so much the bottom. Okay, y'all, so my phone died, so whatever. Um, I'm fixing my bed. I didn't sleep well. Honestly, I've been up since like 2 in the morning. So I'm just going to go ahead and get up and fix my bed, right? And, of course, you know, the bed is typically messed up. But <laughs> when I took the sheet off, I'm like, what the f <laughs> What is that? It is dead skin. Like, it's literally peeling so much. Uh, yeah, it, it's quite a bit. Look at my floor. Like, I did just sit here. Okay, I just sat here and, like, I, I had to cut some of it off because it's just dangling and I can feel it as I'm walking and it's super annoying. I have to look at my timestamps and see what day it is, but whatever day it is today, I'm pretty much over the shedding process. Um, I know what I signed up for. I get it. But God, like this is, it's a lot. Like, look at, it's a lot. Now stepping outside just to get some fresh air, I look down at my feet just to check them out and I still have patches of dry skin near my toes and really on the side of my foot. Now taking a pumice stone will probably get rid of that. So here are my results. My feet are definitely way softer than they were before. They really weren't hard. I mean, I had calluses, but they weren't, like, hard. It wasn't really dry skin except for those calluses. But as you can see, I don't have any more calluses, or they're not as deep on my heels, the side of my toe. Um, the eczema is still going to be there. This foot mask did nothing for that, which I didn't expect it to. Now, this is just an added um, clip showing you how I do watercolor nails. I haven't done this in so long. Do one coat of whatever color you're gonna use. And I'm pointing to, um, I guess it's a corn. If you have any any idea on how to get rid of those, please help, cause it's ugly <laughs> and I don't like it. 
So for watercolor nails, you want to pick the colors of your choice. I started off with green. Didn't work too well for me. I think it was old, so I moved on to pink. You literally want to use water that's been sitting out in a cup overnight. Whatever um, colors you choose, whatever you choose, you want to use like an orange stick or something. Let it sit for a few seconds, dip your toe, remove it, and then you'll probably have to remove the extra paint that was on your skin. Wipe that away, add a top coat, and you have watercolor nails. Yeah, I would definitely use this again. I like the product, it was affordable. Um, the peeling process was a little bit annoying, but like I said, I knew what I got myself into. And if I can find any links, um, I'll try to leave them down below. Thanks for watching.